discipleship is the key that mentors new believers to become people of stature and maturity because now we begin to teach them doctrine methodically communicated line upon line now believers now start seeing the value of prayer if you do not know jesus as king many things that are taught in the church would not you will not see their value what is the value of warfare what forces are you fighting again all that you know is it is finished hallelujah learn to pray revive your prayer life fathers pray mothers pray children pray young people pray prayer is for everyone luke chapter 18 and verse 1 he spake a parable to the end that men men not preachers men ought always to pray and not to faint first thessalonians 5 17 he says pray without season that when you get up in the morning every altar in europe is refired with prayer again you are in your office and while you are working you are praying making that prayer investment i pray that young people will arise that will begin to form prayer chains young people will arise that will begin to form prayer groups young people will arise in the name of jesus christ hear me i charge every father in this place respectfully speaking make sure you spearhead prayer within your family do not get too busy for prayer when the devil wanted to attack babylon in the days of daniel he came up with a policy that challenged prayer for only 30 days please say after me in the name of jesus shout it like you believe say in the name of jesus i decree and declare that i will pray and pray and pray and pray and pray and pray and pray again in the name of jesus james chapter 5 and verse 13 the bible says is any man afflicted it says let him pray i assure you when prayer rises from every corner and every region across uk and europe the devil is already in trouble imagine that every church every prayer group every ministry becomes a place of prayer jesus said when he flogged the people who were doing business in his temple he said my house is it not written that my house shall be called a house of prayer for all nations a house of prayer for all nations businessmen pray university professors pray parents pray preachers pray politicians pray career people pray. he spake a parable that men ought always to pray and not to faint number two the second key that preserves the move of god across a territory listen carefully is the regular convergence of believers within that territory for the purpose of training equipping and empowerment let me take it again the regular convergence of believers within that territory the regular convergence of believers within that territory for the purpose of training for the purpose of equipping and for the purpose of empowerment acts chapter 2 and verse 42 we read that earlier on in the morning there must be a consistent convergence of believers this is where the local assembly comes to play this is where apostolic and prophetic platforms come to play when believers converge together 
it gives an opportunity for methodical mentorship it gives an opportunity to train believers and to raise them to become men and women of stature in the spirit are we together the bible says they continued steadfastly acts chapter 2 and verse 42 they continued steadfastly in the apostles doctrine and fellowship and in breaking of bread and in prayers they continued every week every time period as you see as as you see necessary there has to be a regular convergence of believers did you know that many of the things you read in the bible that you call epistles happen as a result of conferences that were put together like this that gave apostle paul the room to mentor the believers from corinth to ephesus to rome he moved from place to place that even while he was in prison his concern was the church in various cities that where he could not come there physically he would write letters those letters are the chapters and the verses that you read today there has to be a platform in every region there has to be a platform the local assembly alongside every other apostolic evangelical and prophetic platform for the building and the maturing of the maturing of god's people if you believe that say amen and by this second point i respectfully want to charge everyone across this region who is a man and a woman of god serving in the vineyard remember we came to strengthen your hands to let you know that we love you and to let you know that there are higher and greater possibilities in the spirit but this is my charge i beseech you by the message of god god's people cannot come and sit down under a ministry and an assembly where the man of god himself is not on fire i submit to you it will not happen it was john wesley who said set yourself on fire he says and the nations will come to watch you burn the nations will only come to the degree to which the man or the woman of god himself is on fire pastors respectfully i charge you as co-laborers set yourself on fire in the name of jesus we crush spiritual slumber we crush laziness and laxity let the men and the women of god here in manchester apostles evangelists prophets pastors and teachers missionaries get back on fire get back on fire study to show yourself approved a workman that needs not to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth let's minimize entertainment and and time wasting activities and ensure that every service is a communication of doctrine laced with power and fire are we together this is why god has brought us here by the privilege of God's grace because you see I submit to you respectfully speaking and with every sense of love that every congregation will only rise spiritually to match the level of spirituality of the priest leading them so the higher you rise as a man of God the more you give your people an opportunity to rise in the spirit Hello there viewers, thank you so much for watching and engaging with this video. I would like to know in the comment section what did you learn in the video that you just watched and what touched you, what striked you most in the video. Please let us know in the comment section. Please do well to like this video, share to a friend or a family somewhere and subscribe to Transform Daily YouTube channel for more content like this. We hope to see you in our next video. Until the next time.